Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. And north node, yes. I just felt it. Okay. <laughs> Cancer, all placements here. Okay, noted. One second. Pulling on you, your situation, and a person in your environment. Basically, the dynamic in between. So let's see a matter of importance for you, Cancer placements. And Cancer, for the next two weeks, please and thanks. What's going on with Cancer and a person? A person, a matter of interest. And a person of interest? <laughs> okay. Seduction. Okay. What's going on here? Let me see what's behind that. Mm. Um, all right. So, Cancer, you got some intensity coming in between you and someone. And it could be that someone's trying to grow a bond with you. Or this is you. All right. Okay. And it's like making the bond stronger or wanting to make a bond stronger between you and them. Could be physically, mentally, emotionally, however. Definitely wanting to put work into that, okay? Because it's like, it's like, let's work on this. I Like, let's have trust in the situation and each other. Something is trying to be worked out, all right? It's like someone needs some type of release. I feel like this has been showing in your readings, Cancer. So let's break this up. Break this up? Doesn't that... Okay, maybe somebody's been trying to get between you and someone or something is kind of coming between you and someone and you guys are trying to have trust in one another and work something out, okay? Seduction, allure, desire, and manipulation. So what I was trying to say is let's uh, break this down so we can see, you know, what's going on. <laughs> Came in as break this up. Now, maybe somebody likes ganja. I don't know. There you go. So we have faith, trust, unwavering, and confidence. Let's see what's up. I'm hearing that's your prerogative. Okay. Show me Cancer in this energy. What's Cancer's energy here? Please. Page of Swords. What's up, my love? Okay. You could be wrestling with an arena of like uncertainty, okay? You may know something is not being fully expressed or fully spoken about, okay? Whether this is you or someone, I feel like there's some type of suspicion going on. You may be seeing that you don't know the full story here. So you're trying to figure something out. It's like not, everything is not as it seems is what I'm getting. So you feel like you're getting like half truths. It's almost like you were trying to heal something with someone and they even came to you like this okay and then you started feeling like something was amiss let me see your situation so this is a trust thing going on what's a sitch please empress it's like, no, 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 don't worry about that. Or don't worry too much. I feel like you're starting to feel like someone's manipulative or this is you, whoever's doing this. It looks like it could be a person you're dealing with as far as I'm seeing. Of course, it can be vice versa, whatever. It's like someone's trying to calm you or soothe you, but you still feel something is wrong. You see what I'm saying? It's like something could be bothering you. And maybe somebody's like denying it or wanting to kind of 
switch your focus instead of focusing on what is wrong or what could be wrong or trying to find a flaw in the situation. Someone wants you to, hey, hey, no, no, no. Don't look over there. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it feels almost like something's being brushed under, swept under the rug. Okay, this person, please. This person. What's going on? Hold on. Too many. Hmm. This is almost like someone could be like feeling down low, maybe depressed, maybe feel like they're going senile, something like this. And there's a denial of it. It's like, no, no, no I'm fine. Or it's like someone's dealing with a self-worth issue. Let me see the person here in Cancer's reading. Oh, what was that? The star? So strength, okay. Leo energy. Leo Aquarius. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, there's an Empress again. Hmm. There's a discussion here about maybe someone's energy wandering is what I want to say. Like going back to a crime scene or not literally, I hope you know, I'm just saying could be some sort of meaning here or going back to like a broken promise or like keep looking at something else that is a distraction or it's deemed some type of distraction. It's a non-starter, okay? So someone is like, look, don't be reckless with your energy. Get a grip, get a hold on this and heal, okay? It's kind of like that. So let me see something really quick. It's, yeah. So it's almost like you and someone, Cancer, are deciding if like, I guess maybe how to make adjustments or how to adjust something, but it does feel like almost, you know, your attention keeps wandering there because you may feel like you're left out of the loop somehow or someone's feeling this way. It's like, there has to be more, there has to be more. It's like, no, 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 don't go to the past or don't go back there, okay? We're working on moving forward. It's something like this. But again, it's like you can't move forward if you don't feel you have the full picture. Because there's still curiosity about what went on back there. You see what I'm saying? Like back there? I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm grabbing a deck. This is what she said. Hold on. I feel this one. I do, yes. First use of the day is what she said. Let me see about this Empress, please. Why is Empress the stitch? Well, here, this is popping out. Um, justice, yeah. It's like a joint effort here. It's like you, you and someone are trying to make an adjustment to like, coming out of the hole with each other, okay? Like making something equal here. It's like you also need to put work. Okay, so there's some sort of plan about this. Show me this Empress. Again, that page of swords. Okay, you are su suspicious about someone. Okay. You might feel like there's someone in this reading who's like using the other person for like sustenance or there's a suspicion about this. It's like you want to deal with this because you feel st stable, something like that. Or there's some type of luxury afforded here for the person involved. It could be that you're asking them this, okay? This King of Wands energy person. You may feel like this is someone who you kind of know, like maybe at times doesn't want to be like, get their feathers ruffled or something like that. Like maybe somebody's sensitive or they're, they, they have a tendency to be overwhelmed or 
something like that? It's like they would rather avoid something or they would rather leave it alone so that they can have peace. Or it feels this way. Okay. So you're suspicious about someone. This came up in I think your last reading. Uh, or two readings ago, Cancer. It's something about, I feel like it came out vice versa that time. I'm not sure, I feel like maybe. Yeah. So let's see this page of sword. It's like you feel like someone is not telling you something. So you're asking or you're inquiring or you're searching or maybe you're looking for meaning. Some of you guys may be snooping just outright. Okay, let me see this page of swords. And if you are, you're not gonna be happy because I see it right here. Tell me about this page of swords. You know what they say, right? Like if you're looking for something, you're gonna find something because you're you're already on that train of thought. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So the five of wands, the nine of swords. I feel like you're starting to feel at a loss here. Like something's hitting your confidence in a way. It's like got you feeling a little bit unsteady here, okay? There's a little bit of guilt, whether it's your side or this person's side, but it's definitely surfacing during this time about maybe something that was said or done. And it's almost like, where do I find stability from here? Because there's a lot of like worries and concerns coming up about the drama that was caused and the lack of stability now. What else? The Seven of Swords, yeah. It's like there is, yeah. You feel like, okay, this just flipped, so I'll, I'll take it, jeez. Because normally I'd be like, no, bye, you know? But <laughs> really wanted to come out. There is someone trying to gloss over a truth here, for sure. Um, but it's almost like to preserve a relationship or to keep things going, all right? What is this here? Ten of Swords. Huh. So what's this about even? about this person I feel like you could be trying to talk to them about something and they are very again someone who, who just wants peace instead it's like they they don't want to get riled up or they don't want to touch this topic here which frustrates you tell me this person the strength what's this about Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Three of Swords. This is someone who is in the process of, I guess, trying to navigate a situation with you specifically, okay? because someone definitely feels out of whack here. And this is someone who is holding on to some bad blood or hurt feelings here. And feeling like they're not strong enough or the situation may not be supportive enough to kind of move past. Okay, so it's almost like this thing needs attention, but there's a weakness that it's also highlighting in your situation with them. Because I almost feel like, again, there's an energy of trying to leave it alone. Like, I don't want to talk or like, let's leave this alone here. Like, what's the point? It's almost like that.
So you may feel like cancer, you may feel unsteady, and it's kind of got you, like it's kind of got your claws dug, dug into this person here. Because this could be that you're just trying to find out why they're acting a certain way and what's beneath that, and if they're truthful about it. And it's like you could ask them, but they have nothing to say. But it's like you have this fear, or someone does, that this is someone who's just feeling like they can't do much anymore here. Or it's like they, they don't feel like their efforts are going to pay off here. So it could be a topic of like, hey, are you trying to leave? It's something like this going on. Because it's like you feel... You feel like someone is kind of tapped out in a way, but there's also a reason that they're staying, you know, or they have. So it's like you could be asking them. So let's go ahead and move forward here. How does this person view cancer, please, this this Leo energy or, or this Taurus person. The two of Swords. They feel like your situation is kind of like maybe at a crossroads or a stalemate. And it also feels like something is stagnant and this is what they're referring to. So maybe something has grown stagnant here with you and this person. You guys are just staying in the swamp, okay? Sort of like cleaning out the water or whatever. It's like you guys keep swimming around and crap. This looks like swamp area. And here. It's like something needs to be drained so that you guys can put fresh energy. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, I feel like someone doesn't feel either which way right now and that's what's alarming either you or, it looks like you to be honest. It's like someone feels like a dead fish or something to you, I don't know. What is the reference to like fish and swamps here? I'm not sure. How's this person see cancer? You're not even a fish, you're a crab, you're a crustacean. This person feels lovers. Here it is with that hermit again. Huh. Connection strong, that's for sure. It has been, okay. They feel like you're very worried or concerned about the state of your union, your relationship, your marriage, what have you. And maybe that you've been expressing this. But this could be that someone is really under some type of pressure here. Or there's a lot of like obligations to keep this relationship up or to keep the passion alive or to keep both parties functioning well. You see what I'm saying with the Ten of Wands? I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's having like, or this is you, like maybe somebody's feeling um, like some sort of isolation or could be like mental health, you know, paranoia type energy coming in yeah see this person feels like you're ready and willing to hang in there like you've been trying to work things out here okay even in the midst of like maybe some sort of uneasiness between you and them it's like something is feeling This feels like this is someone who feels like you're trying to keep the relationship alive or the connection alive, the passion, the love alive, and you have been, okay? They do, they are saying that about you.
they may feel like you are sad about the changes that have happened here with your relationship or like someone's not talking about this like it's it's like maybe you feel this person is more distant than usual or someone is like upset about an ex or a past partner or someone who's passed on here and it's like affecting you and this person okay because it's like mourning a loss of either your connection another connection or whatever this is and they feel like that's affecting this sitch right here it's like you may be feeling like you want more of this connection with this person to alleviate some type of like lack or need that's not really being addressed right now. I feel like someone is dealing with something kind of heavy. It's also affecting your situation. So it feels like two things. So let me see this person, um, how you see this person. Cancer, how does Cancer feel? Th see this person, feel this person. Yeah, how do you feel this person? The star. So the star is on the bottom here. Is what I'm saying. The moon. So yeah, all these kings are coming up here. The ace of wands. You feel like this is someone who is like causing a bit of insecurity. Maybe you're starting to feel like a, a, an energy of insecurity or. Like you feel like they're hiding something because they're maintaining some sort of space or distance from you. And it's like you maybe feel like they're not telling you the full truth or they're hiding something or what have you here, okay? It's like you don't know what this person wants right now and that could be causing you some, some pain or stress, okay? But I also see that it's like it's like being sad that someone wants space or has asked for space or, or something like this, okay? Again, there's a past energy that is showing up. You feel like this person stays for the stability that this situation has afforded you, them, the situation, whatever. Yeah. It's like you're getting suspicious of this person. Like you feel like they have motives or something like this. Like it's no longer about like your connect. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh man, okay. Next two weeks, let's just get a couple cards on this. Justice, four swords. Okay, well. The wheel. Okay, well, it's like there's some energy trying to promote some healing or rebalancing this equilibrium between you and this person here okay there may be one person specifically doing that and the other person is waiting for some reciprocity in that but i do see for the most part things are trying to mend you do have like it's almost like someone's like waiting for something to happen or like waiting for something to change or waiting for the other person to do or say something here you know what else There's like, yeah, you will have some conversations with them. Yeah, it's like you could be waiting to talk about why, I don't know, maybe someone's not interested or this is like a topic you wanna bring up. Like, why are you kinda absent here? Or why don't you feel the same or something like this? But it's like, it's like you're waiting for information or clarity here or this person is from you, okay? And how can we, yeah, it looks like you guys are trying to work this out. Yep, there it is. It's like, all right, so let's uh, let's make some plans here. Oh, someone could feel like they really need to start taking care of themselves, especially confidence-wise right here. You guys are still deciding things in the next two weeks, okay? 
it's like you're trying to work something out or come to an agreement or like, what does this mean? What are we doing? Kind of thing. All right. Advice, guidance, or cancer regarding this or otherwise. What do you want cancer to know quickly? Nine of wands. The wheel. Oh my. All right. So here's what's up. The ace of pentacles. You may not be aware of this here, okay? And first, let me just preface this by saying I would never ever tell anybody here or anybody in general or even my loved ones to stay in a situation that is not healthy for you. So just keep that in mind because I never know who's watching and what's going on with each specific person, okay? So if that's you, you know, all right? Now, in a general sense here, this looks like you hanging in there is bringing in a beneficial change for you. You're being rewarded because of your discipline, your persistence, and all that jazz. You have an Ace of Pentacles coming to you. This is like by luck, by chance, or like, I don't know, because we do have Sagittarian energy here as well. There's a new beginning coming in for you, and it's going to feel like you like hit the lottery or it's gonna feel like oh finally you know my lucky break it's something like that okay what else maybe it's financial hmm. judgment the king of pentacles the ten of cups and the chariot look at you i told you you are going to make some beneficial moves here. You will be having some beneficial energy that in the near future, you're getting that 10 of cups in your chariot, okay? It's like you have success coming in. Could be with a, it looks like this person because they have fire energy and that earth energy, okay? But it's like, it's like something's coming back to life. So this, um, the energy of kind of fill in, maybe irritated or unsure or kind of like, man, I'm on my last leg here. Being rejuvenated is coming in, okay? Not too shabby. Love ya so very much, Cancer. Feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers. Beep and song, beep and song down the street. Check the placement too so we know what the heck everybody in the world is up to. Kisses. I love you. Bye.